We have heard so much over the years about how important social connection, uh, human social interaction is to our health outcomes. The Canadian Mental Health Association posted something last October on one of their blogs that uh, talked about the health benefits of being socially connected and that in fact when we aren't connected we actually put our health at risk. Over the years people with disabilities have been disproportionately affected by loneliness and isolation and the rest of society now has some empathy or understanding about uh, loneliness and how much we miss human relationships. We've seen just the resilience of the human spirit in, in people's drive and desire for relationship reflected in the ways that they've come up with to connect with each other. So whether that's taking up a new outdoor activity uh, or whether it's doing a Zumba class online, even just a virtual meeting um, through one of the one one of the online video conferencing platforms, uh, people have sought out ways to stay connected and to maintain their relationships. As we promote inclusion and belonging in community, the development of relationships with neighbors and friends is a key to belonging. Shane takes the bus to and from program every day. So we were talking and I said, oh, you must really miss seeing the bus drivers. And she goes, oh, I see Blake every day. And I was like, what? And she said, well, I meet him at, I meet him in front of my house every day to say hello. And I said, well, there's no bus stop there. She says, no, he just stops in front of my house to say hi. Yeah, the film. <laughs> hey there, mister. Where have you been for the last couple of weeks? Blake. We're encouraged to see the ways in which people have maintained their community connections and even developed new relationships. The human spirit is resilient and our desire for relationship has inspired some creative ways for people to continue connecting. It's our sincere hope that as we move out of this pandemic, once isolation is no longer a thing, that it's no longer a thing for everyone.